Welcome back to White Therapist Say the Darndest Things, a series that I created to tell you the things. So, male therapist here. This is 100% and com completely true. Like, I don't know how many times I've sat in a class or in a meeting or whatever and heard more specifically white women like do this kind of like trauma gymnastics thing or just trauma competition thing, whatever you want to call it. So person A will say, I don't know, I was punched in the face by my mom as a child. And then maybe not even five minutes later, like they'll typically cut off the conversation and then go into their trauma like, yeah, you know, I never had anything like that happen, but it was just really rough growing up in my sister's shadow and you know we just had a lot going on it got to the point where i just stopped listening and tuning out and i was just listening to music majority of class because it just happens so often and it becomes like you get so off tangent from the original topic because it happens so often that you literally spend like an hour to two hours in class just listening to people's sob stories and granted you know people at times in class you'll share things things will go through in life but like one of the first things before the program even started was like we are not your therapist go to therapy this is not here so you can just vent and dump uh emotionally dump on everyone and that's exactly what happens and and in ways they'll undermine the things you go through or what other people will go through like for example i remember uh one class you know i was it's like some kind of group project or public speaking project whatever and i was talking about you know part of the project was talking about your life and i was like i generally had a pretty good life yada 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 and i brought up the fact that i'd been in the military this one young lady brought up the fact that she's like well how do you feel about toxic masculinity in the military There was two reasons why this really this statement really annoyed me. For one, you have no no understanding or concept of the military as far as what I can tell. You never brought up the fact that anybody in your family was in the military. You don't really know what take place or go in the military. So your complete assumption is completely ignorant as somebody who's always been very proud to say they, that I've been part of the United States Air Force. So that was the first thing that annoyed me. The second thing that really annoyed me is how hypocritical it was to uh bring out this whole toxic masculinity thing and the sy systematic process of it and whatnot to say that maybe not even 15 minutes before me giving my presentation she brought up the fact that whenever she saw black men in a group that she would walk on the other side of the street or completely avoid them to stay away from them because of her own stereotypical prejudice and racist bias and it was just the most wild concept to me. And what made it even worse was like, for me was the professor said nothing about it or like even like questioned it. It was really remarkable to me. And it just kind of like, yeah, for me, the whole transition of that was like, you're not qualified to teach this class. What you're saying is completely entitled and privileged and without a complete lack of understanding of actually what goes on in the world. And the third thing was like, this is incredibly crazy that this individual is going to be a clinician at one day and still spew this knowledge or their perception of knowledge of the world. And immediately I knew like, okay, this is a bunch of bullshit. I can also bring up the fact how quickly and interesting they will disassociate white men from themselves and how they act like they're two separate entities or race or as if like they existed in a completely different fabricated time and space of history but that's a conversation for a later date